Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you how to make some delicious tacos de papa con pollo a la mexicana. So if you're ready, let's get started. Okay, we're going to begin by cooking our chicken. To our boiling hot water, we're going to add one pound of chicken breast and we're just going to bring it to a boil. Once our chicken comes to a full boil, we're going to remove all of the impurities from our chicken. To that, we're going to add half an onion, three garlic cloves, salt, chicken bouillon, and tomato bouillon, along with a handful of cilantro. Now we're going to allow it to cook for 25 minutes on medium heat. After 25 minutes, our chicken should be done. Of course, make sure that you check it. We're just going to remove it from the broth. Along with the cilantro. And I'm just removing everything at this point. Okay. To our broth, we're going to add five Roma tomatoes, two New Mexico chili pots. Make sure that you clean them. Chile de árbol, I'm using 12, and two red jalapenos. And we're just going to allow them to cook for about five minutes. After five minutes, we transfer everything to our blender cup. And I'm only going to be using half of the onion, but of course, if you want to add the whole thing, you go ahead and do that. We're also going to add one cup of the broth, two garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of oregano, and salt. And now we just blend it too smooth. And just like that, we have our salsa. So now we can transfer it to our bowl. And here, just taste it for salt and adjust it if needed. So now we're just going to set it to the side so we can shred our chicken. Okay, so we just begin to shred our chicken. Okay, and once our chicken is nicely shredded, now we are ready to cook our potatoes. On our skillet of a medium high heat, we're going to be adding two tablespoons of oil. I'm using infused oil that's just been sitting there for a minute. Now we're just going to allow it to get nice and hot. Once oil is nice and hot, we're going to be adding two medium-sized potatoes. We're going to be seasoning with salt. And now we're just going to allow them to cook for 10 minutes and make sure that you're moving them around constantly. After 10 minutes, we're going to add one jalapeno, half an onion, and two Roma tomatoes. We're going to mix it all together and allow it to cook for about three minutes. And after three minutes, I like to smash down my potatoes. The potatoes should be fully cooked, so they should be nice and soft. Just kind of smash them down all around. Okay, now we're going to add our shredded chicken. I'm going to be seasoning with a little bit of cumin, a little bit of garlic salt, and salt. Now just mix it all together and allow all of the flavors to incorporate. Okay, so just taste it for salt and adjust it if needed. So now we're just going to turn it off and I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of cornstarch. This is all going to keep it together while we fry it. So just make sure that you mix it. Okay, and once we have that, now we are ready to make our taquitos. Okay, so we're going to warm up our tortillas. Make sure that you separate them if you're warming them up in the microwave. Now we're just going to grab our filling. Keep it kind of together and roll. And we repeat the process. Okay, and once we have our taquitos, we can now get ready to fry them. Make sure that you keep your oil on medium heat. And just fry them until they're nice and golden. And make sure that they're also seam side down. Once one side is nice and golden, we can flip them over to the other side. And allow that side to get nice and golden as well. And once our taquitos are nice and golden all around, we're going to drain as much oil as possible and just set them to the side. And repeat the process to the rest of our taquitos. 
Alrighty guys, and once we have all of our taquitos, we can now get ready for the fun part. Okay, so I'm going to be layering my taquitos in a bit of lettuce. I'm going to be serving it with some guacamole. Some crema mexicana. And of course, our salsa roja. And just like that, we can enjoy our delicious tacos a la mexicana. Alrighty guys, and now for the best part, the taste test. Now let me tell you guys that I hope you give this recipe a try. It's honestly super easy to make. It's full of flavor, very simple, but seriously super delicious. So I hope you give it a try and enjoy it just as much. Cheers and enjoy. Mm. The salsa is a cherry on top. So good. It just comes perfectly. It just comes perfectly together with the filling. It's a little spicy, but of course you can always adjust it. If you don't want it spicy, then add less uh, chili de arbol. And of course, skip on the jalapenos. But this is honestly so good. Alrighty guys, and there you have it at home. Make some delicious tacos de papa con pollo a la mexicana. I hope you guys are enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. And if you recreate this recipe, please don't forget to tag me on any of my social medias. And if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button so you guys can be part of our family. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.